And a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's evening here, as you can see, it's uh, 25 to 11. Uh, my voice is going high. <laughs> okay, so it's a little special, uh, a rare, rare, rare lucky privilege to see my desktop. <laughs> Most of it's hidden. Uh, I've um, <coughs> expanded everything so you should be able to read it. It's, uh, it's moved icons everywhere, it's a nightmare. But yeah. Okay, so a um, bit of background. I was setting up um, stuff for playing arcade games. Um, so I'd maim, struggled with it, and couldn't quite work out the front end. So I thought, has someone already done this? And I'm not endorsed by romcollector.com, uh, but this is the site that I chose. Okay, so it's got some great reviews, and um, yeah, so I had to look. So, uh, I purchased a Hyperspin hard drive, okay? So it's an arcade hard drive, and the company been going since 2006, blah, blah, blah. So I got the Ultimate, okay? And, uh, okay, so you get this, and these are the arcade systems that it has already on there. So you get MAME 229, okay? You get Atari arcade games, trackball games, all this. You get arcade systems, computer systems, I'm going down here, console systems, look at someone to get all the games. Um, very few games for the PlayStation 3, 11, but you get um, all the games for uh, the PlayStation, okay, which is uh, the US games. Uh, there's about a 1,000, um, and the PS2 is about 3,800. You get 38,000 main ROMs in it. It's just uh, amazing. Okay, um, you can get it. You can get setups from other companies. Look at the other ones. It's got Atari, <laughs> the Atari Jaguar, uh, which is great. It's got handhelds, unbelievable. Some really old classics, um, media centers, and I got the extended one, which got these ones here. So I've got the 10 terabyte version. And um, there is only a few gigs free on it. It's absolutely chock a block full. Okay, so without further ado, I'll show you it. Um, we won't go into too much. It's a very short video, um, but I just thought I'd just show you. I I will say I have a. Um, let me just uh, excuse me while I just go mix arcade. Tank stick. This is what I've got. <laughs> so it is. It is awesome. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Uh, I had to order it from France, and it got shipped over. It is uh, uh, unbelievably awesome. Okay, lovely, uh, lovely jubbly. Um, this is um. Oh, no, we don't want free arcade okay, games. Okay, brilliant. So I am going to close that window and go over there. All right, so let's launch up. Further ado, the X Arcade is a brilliant thing. So you do have to program it to get it to work, but there are instructions for it. It takes about 10 minutes once you get it. You go through um, a list. It's not daunting. Step is about 11 steps. Um, you work your way through them. Um, yeah, and it's done and dusted. Yeah, I think you do need a very good machine, but if you've got a good machine, and like me, you have no space for arcade machines, so I did look at an arcade machine, this is a very cheap alternative. And if you've got, I've got a very good monitor, and then I've got an excellent controller. Uh, is all you need for, um, I would say, a quarter of the price of an arcade machine. You can get one that plays, well, let's say hundreds of thousands of games. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. <laughs> okay. Hyperspin. Hyperspin. All right. So you launch it and it loads. Um, I pre-programmed my controller, which does do need a PS2 keyboard. So they're only about six or seven pounds or dollars, wherever you live. Um, yep. So this is it. So it's main. Um, and you can select it, and I'll just select it, uh, and then you can go through all of the games. So, these are all the games on T's Tank Busters, and it's got videos for each one. 
So you can have a look, you see this is 1994. Uh, let's get a game that I know. The arcade game, 1990. Oh, you got Tekken. Fight! <laughs> Tempest. Lovely game, 1980. That was a trackball, that was very good, I think. This is very good. Alright, so you can just see there's so many games here. So, this, um, you can fast track between them by just uh, going on the controller so on x y z a a and b and let's do let's do bubble bubble let me do space invaders now we do space invaders excuse me while i go around t this and then go space invaders. It doesn't take long to navigate round. Let's see. It's um S H blah blah blah. Skip to the end. Uh S O and we got Space Invaders. Lovely. The original one, nineteen seventy eight. I was there. Okay. I should load uh MAME. It's a lot tidier once it's loaded. <laughs> okay, uh, if I can remember which one gives me credits. Oh, that one. Okay, and then player one. Okay. Look at this, isn't this brilliant? What you can get me there? Oh. This is lovely. <laughs> 1978, I was I was 13. 13 years old loving arcade games. Um it was um it was uh, after 1978 when we actually saw arcade games coming from the uh, outbacks of Great Britain. It was like 1979. The arcades were uh, very um well slow at Coming up with um, oh, good shot, Neil. Coming up with um, the new games. It wasn't wasn't till the nineties, really. But yes, it is amazing. Okay, so let's uh, quit out of that one. Lovely. So it's just so many. I mean, you just pick them. That simple. So let's uh, go back to the original. Can I go back? Right there. Yes, we can. All right. So all the other ones. What? Should I just pick one more for you. Let's get an impressive one. One that works. <laughs> uh, well, we try GameCube. Okay. So this shows you well the amount of games that we get. No. It's just so many. I mean, pfft, I'm a, when I had these consoles, I might have had 10 games. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Bomberman Generations. I'll try this one. Okay. Loading game. Thank you. So I played six hours on this uh, emulator. <laughs> I love, I love it. Uh, the interactive menus and stuff are very very good uh some of it is a little unstable i wouldn't say it's all perfect but in essence uh most of it works very well um it's um it's very well put together uh it is a uh, it's it's hard work trying to put it all together there are some where you have to fight the the tari st some of the discs are uh, a little bit uh let's say buggy but yeah you know, you you take it. You can get them to work, but you but you do need a little bit of knowledge. Okay. So let's just. Uh, I, I don't sure what the keys are. All right, loading. In the infinitely expanding universe, this 
is where energy unfathomable to humankind is overflowing. Uh, yep. Yeah. I picked the one with the In longest the intro. For this unknown energy, many researchers have challenged outer space. Okay. The time is cosmic year 2000X. <laughs> Why? The bomb research laboratory led by Professor I. Why did I take this one? In mining bomb elements with this secret energy. For the peaceful utilization of this strange power. All right. A space freighter carrying bomb elements made up of six. I have zero patience. Has departed for planet bomber. However. <laughs> I'm not even sure if the controller will work. The evil Hickey Picky bandits scheming for domination. Hickey Picky oh dear. sent a hired gun to seize the bomb elements. Alright. I've tried every button. And so the great battle for the bomb elements begins. Right. Okay. <laughs> I haven't got a start button. <laughs> oh, they haven't mapped the controllers for it. Okay, it's a great game. Alright, so what I'm going to do is um, quit out of that. Alright. So, yeah, you've got all of these. Obviously, you, ha you might have to fight with them a little bit here. So let's um, quit out of that one. Let's play one that... Uh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna play PlayStation One. It's files. Uh, you can see there's just so many. Uh, okay. What I want to do, if I can find Bubble Bubble, this is a game that um, the company I worked at did, uh, which is done by a very, very cool guy called Martin. Okay, can I find... Oh, gone to see. Probably not even here, is it? It's a shame if it's not. This is B... Bubble. No, it's not, is it? Bugs. Bubble. No, that's a shame. The only... <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so we're gonna pick a... I haven't played any of these. This chicken man. That'll do. No, it won't. Uh, you tell I haven't prepped this. No, red alert. Crash Bandicoot. Will it have a big intro? Let's, let's try it. Loading game. And relax. Yeah, I have to admit, you do need a USB free um, socket for your hard drive. Uh, that's essential, really. Because the, the amount of loading and stuff. And I imagine probably 16 gigs at least of memory. Lovely. <coughs> Hopefully this will work. Otherwise it's back to the drawing board. Oh, ignore the red bit, the, the green bit. Yeah, it's impressing the buttons. All right. Do I haven't got bubble bubble? Uh, 
I don't think the control is matched quite right for this one. Oh no, I just quit it. <laughs> Alright, that's great. It's a great game. <laughs> Alright, so yes, yeah, it's, it's lovely. I'm sure they, they all. I, I played it, honestly. I played them, they're great. Alright, so we'll have one more. One more game. Um, we'll randomly pick one. Alright. Pick that one. So there's only two. Okay. Alright. I haven't got a clue what this does. There's any. Some of these games are very pretty but incredibly hard. You almost have to go into another zone. Yeah, yeah. You wonder how, how have I survived? Oh dear, see that one coming. Just stupid. <laughs> Alright, one more, one more, come on. Come on, Neil. You can do it. Obviously, not that one. Jesus. Oh. I lost focus on where I was. Jesus. Oh, couldn't do that one. Very, very cool. Okay. Excellent game. Alright, so this is it. It is unbelievable. Oh, it's a cave game. Lovely. Um, I won't mention it, anything about licenses and stuff like that. I purchased it in good faith, just using it for my own benefit. And I'm just showing you um, the fun that you can have. And I'm not recommending, well, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not endorsed by ROM Collector. I'm not recommending that you only purchase for them. There are others. Oh, it's going through a demo. Okay, so it's... Um, it's amazing, and it's a, it really um, well. It's for a, a, a people of a certain age. It is great. Um, it reminds you me of my youth uh, growing up. Uh, well, at the very beginning, where I remember the first arcade machine that I ever saw, which was Pong, and that was uh, oh, totally awesome. And then we had the controllers uh, in sort of '77. For home and they were they were terrible <laughs> but yeah it's very very cool it is um yeah awesome and uh i think it is really really worth every penny all right then so i'm going to end the video there <clears throat> just a quickie just to say that hyperspin is brilliant and i might do um a few few videos of me playing a few of my favorite arcade games if i get any good at them <clears throat> oh defender i'm terrible at that what game are we going to go on before I quit that? Gala Crusade. I don't even know half of these games. Okay. Like a rip-off of um, oh, Golden Axe. Alright. Lovely. I'm going to quit there. So you have a great time. Um, yeah. If, if you if you got any thoughts on this and your feelings on it, um, yeah, just leave a comment in the video. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you for my next video. Okay. Thank you.